shadows in its debut weekend with U.S. ticket sales bringing in $134 million with international sales of $254 million. D.C.'s Cape Crusader claiming the second biggest domestic premiere of the pandemic era, just behind Marvel's Spider-Man No Way Home. And Robert Pattinson's The Batman sold more than 4 million tickets globally for the largest movie theater chain in the world, AMC Entertainment, for its third highest attended weekend in two years. In his first appearance since The Batman hit, hit his theaters in AMC Entertainment chairman, President and CEO Adam Aaron joins us. Adam, I understand there was a scramble today to update the box office numbers because Sunday ticket sales came in way better than expected. How did AMC fare? Give us your best numbers. Well, what you just said, Liz, is correct. And boy, did we have a great weekend. Uh, it was our third biggest weekend in over two years, our third biggest weekend of the pandemic era, uh, second only to Spider-Man because the first weekend and the second week of Spider-Man No Way Home were the, the two largest weekends. Uh, Warner Brothers has a huge hit on its hands. It's got an 89% Rotten Tomatoes audience score. Uh, as I said, it was our third biggest weekend in more than two years. Uh, we're just thrilled. You, you must be thrilled. Uh, you, you also did a pilot program this time around on, I like how you called it um, variable pricing. Okay, it's surge pricing because of the more popular blockbuster films, you have said you might charge a bit more. You tested that. How did that work out? Well, it was quite successful, but I, I, I don't want to use the word surge because we only increased the price about a dollar. Uh, I think that's, I mean, it is a price increase, but it's a nominal price increase. And um, it, was a, it was a big success. Our market share, which is normally around 25% in the United States, was 29% on this opening Batman weekend. Uh, so uh, it's, it's all signs go. There is obviously a dramatic situation in Eastern Europe. Warner Brothers pulled the Batman movie from Russia that was supposed to open March 3rd. And in the 11th hour, they said, forget it, you're not getting it. Netflix has come out swinging against Russia. Same with Disney and Universal. You've got a lot of companies saying, forget it, we are not going to be party to this. Russia is the fourth largest uh, film going audience country and i'm just interested to know how the theater operators feel about hollywood movie makers saying we're out well amc the largest exhibitor in the united states and also the largest exhibitor in europe we don't actually have any theaters in russia or the ukraine or for that matter anywhere in eastern europe so uh we're sort of a bystander to this directly but Everyone in the world has their eyes glued to what's going on in the continent of Europe. This is the largest ground war in Europe in more than 75 years. As you're reporting, it's not good for the Dow Jones. It's not good for stocks generally. Uh, obviously, we hope that uh, there can be a peaceful resolution to this as soon as possible. Of course. Uh, I want to get quickly to cryptocurrency. You're, you're taking Shiba, Doge. You're delving into this. What is the business benefit that you see long term? We've talked about this for a while, that you're very interested in pursuing crypto and you're already taking it in some cases. Uh, where do you see the real opportunity for the bottom line? Well, let me, let me tell you the side benefit of having to program our computers to take <laughs> cryptocurrency. We also have to program our computers to take Apple Pay, Google Pay, and PayPal payments. And those three already are 15% of our total online ticketing. So already there's been an immediate benefit. Look, only time will tell how big cryptocurrency is. If there's an enormous opportunity for AMC, I think it might be to actually issue our own cryptocurrency, but the regulatory framework around crypto is rapidly changing. AMC as a company has always wanted to stay very far on the right side of the law. We certainly would never dream of uh, uh, doing anything but complying with every regulatory uh, 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 guidance there is for crypto. Uh, but, but that's the opportunity. We'll have to watch and see if we're able to take advantage of it. Adam, uh, congratulations on the big uh, opening weekend of the Batman. And um, we'll continue to watch the ticket prices and, and everything that comes with it in there. Thank you so much. 
Hey, hey, Liz, who says movie theaters are dead? Those people are wrong. Well, this was also exclusive theater opening, no streaming. That probably helped, too. Yes, it did. Good to see you, Adam. Thank you. While AMC is most always in the top 10 when it comes to meme stock chatter in the Wall Street Reddit rooms, one of the biggest names behind the entire meme stock movement, now setting his sights on a new stock target, where GameStop chairman and Chewy founder Ryan Cohen is placing a fresh bet. We'll tell you next. Closing bell ringing in 36 minutes. We're coming right back. The Dow down 713 points.